Hey Clashers, we have finally some more information about this next Clash Mini update. Like, how do the reset work and everything? Like, we have heard already from the beginning that all of our minis are going to be reset. This apparently is going to be changed or is going to be different. So let's listen into the small talk and let's see what exactly Vlad has to say and what he has to share with us as uh, information uh, for this next update. Fan. I've heard that you guys are planning to delete all of my progress in the next season. What's up with that? No, we're not going to do that. No? No. No? No. I mean, if you're comp uh, first off, I, I love how they do those intros. But first off, I mean, it was in the game that those mini are going to be reset. So it's not like, oh, you heard that somewhere. No, it was literally in the game. So they just changed that, I guess, based on feedback of the community. But yeah, so, um, it, w it was literally in the game. It's the beginning of the season. So, Fan, we are going to have two sets of rewards. One is for the ranked play, and one is for your mini collection. Yes. So, what about the ranked play? So, when the new season starts, we are going to reset the rank. And based on your highest rank in the previous season, you are going to get a lot of rewards. Wait, let, let's, let's get back to that photo because I, I'm really not a fan how they're phrasing this, to be honest, because um, there's now two options how we can understand this. First option, which is, by the way, the more unlikely one. Um, the rewards are based on your placement in the leaderboards. So, for example, rank one is getting the best rewards, rank two, the second best, and so on. Um, but how it looks like on the photo, but that's not what he said, is that it's based on the league. So the reward would be based on the league. For example, he reached legendary on the screenshot, so he's getting those crystal coins. By the way, obviously those numbers can still change, but you're getting crystal coins and gems for reaching legendary. But he phrased it that your highest rank in the league is like deciding the rewards, which it should be the highest league which you have reached, and not the highest rank. But yeah, I feel like it's that's just adding so much confusion. Confusion. Um, I mean, I think I have now heard that from different directions that the league is the deciding factor. So pretty much only you can see your highest position in that one. But um, yeah, that, that it's I, I I'm I don't know I I guess it's based on leagues. That's what this screenshot is saying, right? So. Let me know if you see this in a different, I don't know, if you see this, if you have a different opinion about this than I have. A lot of rewards. What are those rewards? They are gems and crystal coins. Crystal coins. That is the main source of crystal coins. You have been wondering. So climb up the ladder and get as many crystal coins as you can at the beginning of new season. Also, we are going to be resetting Again, he said, climb up the ladder to get better rewards. Oh, it's... Why can't they not just say this clear? Like, okay, rewards are based on league, and it will showcase your best, your highest finish at the top or something. I don't know why they cannot say this super clear, like, okay, that's how it is. But they always use this phrase, rank, which I feel like could be understood in so many possible ways. I, yeah, that's kind of something which I do not really understand. People's rank points at the beginning of new season, right? Yes. The goal for doing that is to give everyone a fair chance to compete again. And for new players to have a chance to compete with the champions from the previous season. Sounds good. So that is the set of ranked rewards that everybody is going to get based on their highest position in the ladder. Okay, now this time though, he said it completely clear, even though the screenshot again saying something different. He's like, let's, let's, let's see that again. Ranked rewards that everybody is going to get. Sounds good. So that is the set of ranked rewards that everybody is going to get based on their highest position in the ladder. However. Okay. So now the rewards are based on your highest position in the ladder. Even though the screenshots show that it's based on the league. I am like, literally, this is giving me more questions than answers so far. I mean. Yes, we know that there are going to be rewards, and we know now which rewards they are. But like, otherwise, 
Is it just me how, who, who feels like this? Or is it you guys as well who's just getting confused by this? I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I'm just too stupid to understand it. I don't know. But to me, I after this so far, I still don't know what my rewards are based off. Like, for example, I was rank 1 for a long time. So the question is, do I get rewards for being the rank 1? Or do I get rewards for being in legend like in the legend tier list there is another set of rewards that is going to be based completely on the mini collection so what about that one yes so based on how many stars you've collected on the minis in the previous season you have a chance to get a lot of rewards <gasps> and what are some of those rewards so uh, it's a big package we have gold we have hero fragments Ooh, let's pause this over here um Numbers not final, work in progress. Okay, that's that's totally fine. But we can see, okay, star rewards. So you're collecting stars from your minis, and based on how many stars you have collected out of them, you're going to get hero fragments and mini fragments again for resetting and crystal coins and gold. Wow, that is that are some crazy rewards. Okay, and those are optional if I understand it correctly. So that's some really cool rewards, especially for free-to-play players being able to like get those hero fragments in. I know that everyone struggles to collect them, so that's really cool. I love that. I love that. That a lot, a lot of hero fragments to allow you to progress your hero levels. We also have minis for you to have a starting, really good starting deck that you can start uh, playing in the new season and compete with other players. Also, if your star collection is high enough, you will get direct access immediately to the new season's content, including the new hero and the new minis. Sounds good. But... Ooh, wait a second before we take a look at the next screen. So we have confirmed in the next update that there is going to be a new hero and new minis. He did not say like two or three or whatever, but he said there is going to be a new hero and a new mini. I love this. I really, like, I have to say, like, even though I'm kind of like, um... I don't like a couple of things, which I'm going to talk about later on, um, but I love the pacing of, of how quickly they're pushing out those new heroes and those new mini. I feel like this is like one of the most important things at the beginning of the game, having a lot of different heroes, having a lot of different mini, just to make sure that there's the possibility of different deck combination, different mini combination, different meta and everything. So that's what I love about this. Like, I know if for the first part I was kind of like negative about the phrasing everything but i love this that there is more mini and more hero like one more hero and more minis coming to the game you have to opt in and choose to reset your stars if you that's another thing which i love like you have the option of taking those rewards but at the same time you have to like recollect all of your mini again which you can do really easily to be honest with the daily quest so, yeah it takes time but still season is a, like season is quite a long time so it's fine so I love that it's optional, to be honest. I, I think that's a good thing. Don't, your collection is going to remain exactly the same and nothing will change, but you're also not going to claim any rewards from that from the star chest. Okay. Sounds good. So again, just to reiterate, you are going to have completely optional choice to either reset your stars or not reset them at all. It's completely up to you. Another change Ooh. to Clash Mini is the pacing of the ranked. Let's go. So what are the changes? So one issue we identified in the rank system is that the pacing has been flat. So in the mm. early uh, ranks, it's too hard for players to climb up. But Really? It's too hard to climb in the beginning? I mean, yes, the game kind of is grindy in the beginning, but I mean, it is the same thing at the top rank. So. Is it really too hard to... Like, let me know, like... Let me know how you feel, like, about the start of the game. Is it too... Is it too hard to climb up? I don't know, especially... Especially, like, to, to those 1.2k trophies, to the legendary league, which is supposed to be, like, hard to reach, I guess, because it is the highest league. Is it really that hard to get there? I don't know. I guess I don't have the player data, so I cannot say, but... To me, it did not feel that crazy, but maybe because I, I love the grind, so that's that's different. But let's see how they're going to change the... Like, what are the changes for this? For players who are really good at the game, it's too quick for them to get trophies. So one change we are going to do 
is to smooth the curve a little bit so that player can get ranks easier in early ranks, but also can climb the ladder in a way that they are matched with proper opponents. Yeah. So the okay, so now you're getting matched with proper opponents. That's going to be interesting. I'm really looking like. As I said, I'm, I was kind of negative so far about the, the couple of things, or like how phrasings work and everything, but I love that they're addressing this. I was kind of afraid that they're like, okay, ladder is right now not our primary focus, so let's just put that to the next update, but I love that they're doing some changes to that. So, so far they have not talked about what exactly they're going to change, except like, okay, proper matchmaking things, which I felt like, I don't even know if that's a good thing at some point, because... Then the matchmaking takes long, so um, obviously positive and negative things, but I love that they're addressing this, so that's really, really cool to see. The idea is basically that at the early stages, you climb up the ladder much more smoother, yeah. and at the, at the higher end, you're gonna be basically working for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it, I love idea. it. So expect some of those changes to be seen in the game as well. All right, that's important so as well. Another change to the game is going to be the pacing of progression, namely the way you upgrade your minis. Yes. So what is going to be the change? So the issue we found in the progression is that a lot of players get things they don't want. And some players get too overwhelmed with the minis in the beginning, mm -hmm. but get very little minis or even mini progressions later on. Right. So we feel that we should not just give random minis to players, but give back control to players so that players can that's decide cool. which mini they want to upgrade, which mini but they want gold. to unlock. Sounds what? good. So expect much more control over the minis that you get and the minis that, and, and the stars that you unlock and those that you prefer. In addition, the new players that are coming to the game are going to have much, much smoother time understanding each star level and having enough time to learn all of those upgrades if un until they unlock the next star level. I think, first of all, people should understand that they can choose during the fight the order of their star level. I feel like still, you're getting flamed as a cheater because you have like a, let's say, a one-star prince on your field, but you have already the star level of the pony in this one-star level, right? I mean, everyone who knows how to like upgrade, properly upgrade that, is kind of getting confused by this, but Yes, a lot of people don't know about this yet, and that's kind of crazy. Um, because the game is not out for quite some time, most of those players who don't know about this play the game already for quite some time. So, yeah, kind of confusing, to be honest, but I think that should be a major thing as well, like being like a better explanation of what players can do, actually. Because we really want everybody to learn the minis before they're able to use them at their full potential later down the line. Yes, because we realize that more doesn't mean better. Yeah. For a lot of new players, giving players a lot of minis and a lot of upgrades will just confuse them rather than give them a good experience. So we are going to ask players to collect more star, more mini duplicates to level up their star level, but in the same time also give players a lot more gold so that players can decide what they want to upgrade, but without extending the time for collecting. Sounds good. So? That's kind of crazy. More gold means obviously you can now spend your gold for whatever. That's really cool, actually. I, I, I like that change. I like that change. I think it's pretty cool. But then obviously they have to make sure that the shop is properly working because the shop, I mean, the shop mechanic is a huge mess, unfortunately. Because especially for players who are getting slowly to the point where they have a couple of mini maxed. You still can get those mini in the shop. They're not visible, but they are blocking the spots where you could get other minis. The same thing for the heroes. So, for example, I had all of the heroes maxed before the last update. And I it took me three weeks or something to max out the Royal Champion because I was super unlucky and I always had other heroes in the shop. The shop for me appeared to be empty because I had those heroes already maxed, but they were there, like just not visible. And I was super unlucky with not getting any Royal Champion shards in there. And if that happens, the same thing, or it is how it, how it works with the same thing with the mini. So I really hope that they're reworking the shop as well, because right now it's, at least I don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but yeah.
Expect those changes and exact numbers on the minis and the shards that you need to upgrade each mini and all of those details later down the, right, down the line on Reddit before the update is live. And that is everything that we had for this small talk. So we went through the season and features and yes. the optional rewards that people yep. can get and also the mandatory rewards that you're gonna get no matter what at the rank. Uh, and also we went through the rank uh, changes and the pacing of how people progress their ranking. Yeah. And at, the, like at that. the final part, we also addressed the pacing of the progression of the minis. Uh, one question to all of those free-to-play players out, uh, free to play players out there. Is the rank progression, or like the, the, not the rank progression, but the progression in general, is it, I feel like it's more about the heroes, not about the mini, right? But maybe I'm, I'm just seeing that wrong, but I feel like the heroes are the bigger problem because people can just not grind for the heroes. But maybe, like I said, I'm not one. I don't have the player data, obviously, as, as those uh, guys have. So I can only speculate. We hope you enjoyed these updates. And let us know on Reddit and Discord how you felt about these changes as we are actively listening. And this update is going to take some more time until it's delivered. So we have plenty of time to implement any changes that you may have, you may have suge suggestion for. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Okay, that was a really cool small talk. Um, I love how the, how they're doing this, like the setup and everything. I, I, I like it. Um, so let's talk about a couple of things. First off, um, yeah, it was kind of unclear, at least to me, how that worked. Like, what is the what are the rewards based on? What I think, I were really, really like, what I feel like with this screenshot was visible is that the like the rewards are based on the leagues, not on your highest rank. On, the, on your highest league, which you achieve. Let, let's put it like this. Let's phrase it like this. I think that's fair to say. Um, I like the how they did it with the star level with the rewards. I really love that about the about the mini um, rewards at the end of the season. I really, really like that. Then, obviously, I love that they're addressing the issue with the leaderboards. I think... Um, let's see how that works, but I like that they're changing and like addressing the issue right away. I really love that about about the, the dev team. Um... And obviously, this was just one small talk. But one thing which I really look forward to, which they should change, in my opinion, is two things. First off, my personal thing is spectate mode. That would be kind of cool. But especially tournament standards in mini rooms. I know, I know that Vlad wants to stream a couple of... Um, what's to stream in general on the Clash Mini YouTube channel. But there's going to be one issue where he is going to, I, I hope so, really quickly notice that there's not that much fun probably in there because... Everyone out of out of there, like whoever wants to participate, is having a, a really big variety, big range of hero level. And everyone is going to play in there. Most likely there's a couple of level 10 hero players in there. Most likely there's a couple of level 3 to 4 hero, or maybe even level 1 hero players in there. And those lower level won't have any fun whatsoever. Even though this is his my, main priority with those streams. Want to play with the community, want to have fun with the community. So I think, and I really hope, and they just said it, they have maybe time to f uh, fit in some more features. Uh, features. I think this tournament standard, even though it's like, it, the name is tournament standard, but it's more like, it's for everyone, right? It's not only for tournaments, but it's as well for just having fun. I did some viewer games on my Twitch live streams the, the other day, and it was not possible. If others want to try different heroes, if they want to try different mini combination, they, more, they were not able to because their hero level were way below some of the other players. So I think this, let's say it hero standard level, because tournament apparently Superset doesn't like the tournaments that much, but it needs to be added. Like this is one of the main things which needs to be added just for the fun for everyone, not just for tournaments, but just for everyone. And I think this is something Vlad will hopefully notice really quickly that those live streams are fun and I love that they're doing that but I think if there's a couple of level 10 players in there and I think there will be then the majority of the other players won't have that much fun and obviously you can just say okay I would just completely remove those then from the lobby or something but that's not really the point of this right so Let's see how he's going to react to that. Let's see how, how they're going to feel about this. But that's one of my strong feelings right now. We need the tournament standards. And yes, it's phrased tournament standards, but it's not only for tournaments. Like this is just the side note, which is which is why it's kind of nice. But 
yeah, this is something which I really wanted to talk about at the end of this uh, small talk. I love the changes so far. Let me know what you think about all of this, by the way. Let me know that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys back in a couple of days for the next Clash Media video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.